Hi, um, well, not many people know much about the early Palaisoka Japan, uh, but it, it, although it does exist, it represents something of an enigma, and I'm going to try and demonstrate how trilobites, brachiopods, and ostracods can be used to try and piece together this Palaisoic puzzle. Um, this is a brief introductory talk, so it's probably going to raise more questions than it, than it, um, than it answers, unfortunately. But, um, so, briefly going to go through the Japanese terrains. This is the South Kitakami in the north, the Hidagayen in the middle, and the Kurosegawa in the south. And this reconstruction based on T Cox and Torsvik shows the Japanese arc on the margins of the South China Paleo continent here. But this is by no means certain. And we've got faunas that show affinity with Australia, South China, North China, and even some more westerly Paleo continents. Now, and the, the, the pan-tropical distribution of corals shows that they're, they're not particularly useful for paleogeography. Um, taken together, it's, it's quite easy to see why Cox and Horswick considered the, pale, the paleontology of Japan to have no significant paleogeographical signature. Um, now I'll give you a few seconds or so to take this in. Um, these are all the different fossils and different formations. And I'm going to focus on the Silurian. Um, now, over 60 species of trilobite have been described from these three formations, um, but unfortunately they've been incompletely documented, which has led to misinterpretation and po uh, poorly constrained paleogeography. Uh, this is a, a plate from a, a paper on Australian trilobites, and these ones are from Japan, the Kurosego uh, So you can clearly see that the, the exact same species occurs in Japan as does in Australia. And this paper's also um, re-described and re-evaluated some of the key species of trilobite, which is, which is shedding new light on the paleogeography of the region. Um, now I'll look at the Devonian a bit. Um, and th these, ostracod these ostracods were recovered from the Fukuji formation, which show genus-level links with these from South China. And these are from the Carpathians, but they show uh, they're very similar to a, a fauna which has been recovered from a deep marine mudstone higher up in the Fukuji formation. Now this shows two distinct different um, paleo environments in the Devonian with shallow marine lagoonal setting with endemic faunas and then a more deep fasces with, uh, with cosmopolitan faunas which shows a, a strong litho fasces control on, on the paleogeographical significance of these, these faunas. Um, also, there's these brachiopods which have been recovered from this formation, which have got affinity with North China. So I think you'll all agree that Japan can't be linked to the rest of the world at this period in time. So what are the reasons for these uh, mixed signals? Well, it could just be an artefact of an imperfect fossil record and sporadic occurrence of shelly faunas. Um, as I mentioned before, the, fauna, the faunas have been incompletely documented which has led to misinterpretation, and particularly the trilobites, which are one of the most important species, uh, well, sorry, group, uh, and that's what my PhD will be based on, re-evaluating that. Also, the ostracods have demonstrated strong lithofasces control, which needs to be considered, and something to which I haven't had a chance to mention is the dispersal mechanisms of different organisms, uh, in particular corals, which have a widespread dispersal mechanism at the um, sort of larval stage, which, uh, which has a, obviously has a massive impact. Uh, so in conclusion, trilobites, ostracods and brachiopods all have potential, but the, the importance of lithofasces needs to be taken into account. Um, a lot more work needs to be done, particularly with the trilobites, so a, a, a thorough re-evaluation of all, all the, basically most of the trilobite work that's been done before, which is going to be my PhD, and uh, integrated studies of several groups placed in their spatial and temporal environmental context is needed. Thank you. Here's a picture of a nice castle.